Hey guys, it's Michael. Um, today's video is going to be about my ear stretching um, experience and um, what I went through, mistakes I made, and what I did to get where I am right now, one inch. And I'm just going to tell you everything that happened. Let's really get this thing out. Okay. First, I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you the bad things I did. Which I regret doing, and I think are the stupidest things you can do while stretching. But I just want to stretch so bad. When I got to like a zero, I'm like, I need to stop doing these mistakes. And at zero, I started making good mistakes about my ear stretching. Well, I'm gonna start off from when I got my ear pierced. I got this ear pierced before I got this one pierced. This was pierced once. I went through like a really ghetto phase, and I said, Oh, I'm gonna get one earring. So I'm so hardcore. Well. That changed, well, that changed. I kept going at that, and then one day I was at Hot Topic, and my friend bought me these earrings I wanted. I didn't know what gauges, stretch gauges, I didn't know what ear stretchers were at first. I'm like, okay, what are these? These are pretty big for earrings. He's like, just, just put them in. They were a size, I think they were a size 14, but a size 14 or 16, and I, I put them in, I shoved them in. I said, ow, oh, they hurt, but they look pretty cool. I had that in this one this one ear for about four or five months, almost six months. Then I took it out, lost it, and put my earrings back in. Didn't know my ears were, my ears were stretched, so I'm like, okay, this is really cool. I lost it and stuff. And then I didn't really think about stretching for a few years. And then one day I came across the video on YouTube about ear stretching. I know, I'm, I'm like 14 years old back then when I started stretching. I was 14 years old, I didn't even know what freaking ear stretching was, but now I know. But what happened was, I'm like, oh, this looks really cool, I can really get into this. Um, I didn't do it right away, I waited at least a year before, I'm like, mom, can you go to the store and buy me, uh, this. I didn't know about sizes, so I'm like, I just went right into it, so I'm like, okay. I know I should have done research, but I didn't, because I was dumb back then. But I went to Hot Topic. And I bought size, a size 10, 10 gauge uh, taper. And whenever I went and got it, my other stuff, I'm sorry. When I got it, I went home, put uh, Vaseline, I think, I don't know what it was, it was a really long time ago, in my ear, and I shoved it in, my one ear, my one ear. I'm like, oh, this is so cool. It, it was hurting about like it's okay, it's probably supposed to hurt. And I know now that when you stretch your ear, it's not supposed to hurt. So I'm like, okay. And then I'm like, okay. And later on, I left it in for like a few months, and I'm like, okay. This is this is weird, because I only have one ear pierced, and I'm stretching it. I said, Mom, can I get my other ear pierced? She said, no, you can't get that pierced, I'm sorry. And she, I'm like, well, whatever. And then I left to my friend's house, and he pierced, it, pierced this one for me. Now, as you can tell, that this one's this one's pierced professionally, and this one's pierced by my friend. So here's professional. It's really thick. That that's thick. That's really thick lobe. Okay, and this one was pierced by my friend, and that is thin. That's really actually really dangerously thin. And and I didn't know. I'm like, okay, thanks for the piercing. I left the earring in for like six months. And this was was still at a ten. So after about six months, I should have ten this year. Now they're both at ten. So like, oh, I'm so cool. I have this in. And after that, I opened the six those in for like only like a few weeks. And then I got. I know as you know by now, I skipped a lot. I skipped sizes already, and I just started stretching. And I was a retard. So I was so hardcore back then. But whatever. And then I got a size six. I already this time I skipped. Sorry, eight. I skipped one. I skipped eight. So okay, I got sixes. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get these sixes. And I I I, could, I got this one easily. This one, the recently pierced one, I didn't really get in that easily. So I'm like, okay. And I'm like, shove it in more. And I just pushed it really hard, and it shoved in. Now they're both that. Six. Okay then. Then I waited two months and then I went to a four. 
when I get to a four, I leave them in for a really long time, like about a year. Because I didn't, I couldn't afford tapers and stuff. I'm just like, okay, I'll stop touching for a while. I'm at a four. And then, after a while, I got twos, and I put those in. Those went in really easily. And because I've been in a year, so I had four then. And those went in really easily. Then I noticed, I was going back on YouTube, searching up ear stretching. And people were saying on ear stretching videos that zero hurts a lot. And I'm like... Oh, when zero, and I looked, I looked up stretching like gauge sizes, and I'm like, zero is the next size. And I'm like, okay, I should start doing my research on this because I feel that I've been, I've been looking at the gauge, and like, I've been skipping sizes. And I found on YouTube videos that this is not healthy to skip sizes. And I'm like, fuck, I've been doing everything wrong. I'm such a dumbass for doing this. So I'm like, okay, I waited four, four to three months, and then I felt like I was ready for the zero, and. I don't know. I don't know where my other. I don't have. I only have zero up to the rest of the sizes. Well, not no sizes yet. But here are the zeros I used. They are tie dye ones. Those are the zeros. Now I'm like, okay, let's do this. <coughs> this is where my biggest mistake was my ear stretching career. Okay, I got the taper, and I put it right here. And I shoved it. It wouldn't go in. It was hurting so bad. And and remember, I was dumb. I'm like, okay, it's it's okay. It's hurting. It's okay. Shoved it in. Blood. Blood. I'm like, oh, it's bleeding. I guess that's natural because it's going to hurt. And I'm like, okay. It's other year. Shoved it in. They're both blood, bloody and swollen. Even though they got infected the next day, I left them in. And after about a week or a few, they, were, they got healed up. And I was really lucky to not get my ear really infected from that. It got infected, but not really super infected. So I'm like, okay, I made this. I'm good. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna look up stretch ear stretching sizes. I'm like, oh, an inch. That's a really good size. I can go to that, and I can I can make it. But I gotta be more cautious about my ear stretching. And after that's a double zero, and that's and I'm like, okay, let's do this. And by the time I I was looking up doing research. I had these tunnels, these zero tunnels in. I'm like, okay, I've um, I got my research down. It's time to start stretching like a good person, like a professional. So I went to Hot Topic and bought myself a pair. And this is still dumb, even though it's professional. I'm doing better than I was. <laughs> I got plastic, um, uh, double zero tapers. Um, the tape from last tape at 716th, that's another coming up soon. 716th from my friend's house, who left it there a long time ago. But, I'm like, okay, double zero. Went in easily, I got, I was healthy. I'm like, okay, I'm really good, I'm doing good. I'm just gonna keep these double zeros in. For a while. I left them in for about two months, I'm like, okay, it's time for me to start to begin. I got my 716th, which are in my videos. My videos, they're, um, it asks for 716th and like the rainbow, no, tie it to be colors. I'm like, okay. And I stretched in that video, and it's been like four months, and I stretched in that really easily. That was an easy stretch, 7 sixteenths. And then I continue doing research, and I find out about King's Body Jewelry Source. And I order half inches, um, 9 sixteenths, and 5 eighths. My 9 sixteenths, my 5 eighths aren't here. Okay, so my half inches are these, the little crosses from Body Jewelry Source. And I stretched to that with the taper really easily. That was a really easy stretch. The, these stretches are pretty easy. Nine, and I waited for like a month. I know I should wait longer, but I thought like there's so much stretching room from the half inch. Like I pulled down, there's like a crap load of stretching room. So I'm like, okay, let's go ahead and go to uh, 9 sixteenths. And then they're like the metal steel tunnels, remember? And I shoved. I. I get the tape, the 916 taper. No, I didn't tape. I, I taped up to 916 and I put the metal ones in. And they were easy. Now, here comes 5 8s. 5 8s were the mushroom ones I have in the video from a long time ago. And I'm like, okay, 5 8s. I, I get the, the tape up and then I get the 5 8s and I put it in easily. And then I'm just gonna get skip the rest of it. 5 8s, 3 4 the easy stretch. 7 8 was a really easy stretch. Okay, now going to an inch. Going to an inch, 
I going to an inch. I was pretty stupid. I got my uh, <clears throat> I got silicone. Yeah, it's stupid. And I tried to stretch it with silicone. These ones right here, pink ones. But luckily, my ear would not let me. So I'm like, okay, this is a sign that I should not stretch with silicone. So I'm like, this is pretty stupid. Why am I even thinking this? I guess I was in this drilling rush. So I'm so close to my goal size. I want to get there. And I'm like, okay, I need to take it slow. I started taping up, and I went and I bought these. I taped up from a seven. Eight, just set, one minute, my seven eight. Just one second. They're over here in my little blue box with me. The seven eights are actually my favorite pairs. They look really cool. They're just like these really thin white ones. These are the seven eights. And I taped them up to an inch. Here's my inch. The inch ones I taped up to. They're just plain gray uh, plugs. And there's a size difference. That's the size difference. And I taped up. And I finally made it to an inch. <clears throat> and I let my ear, ears heal, get better, kept these in for a long time, a long time, cleaned them occasionally, kept them healthy. Whenever I felt my ears were healthy, I put in these, these are my favorite tunnels, the rainbow. And then, um, <clears throat> whenever my ears felt better with that sort of thing, I got these. These are the screw-on metal. They're like, they're um, stainless steel ones, but they're black, and... They have their screw on. These are really heavy. But, it, yeah, I got to my goal size. I'm really happy about all my stretching experience. Here's my um, 5 8. Uh, yes, 5 8. Another 5 8. It's this little bunny thing. See it? So, yeah, I'm really happy about my stretching experience. I hope I inspired you to take it down. I know. Whenever people who want to start stretching their ears watch stretching videos and they're like, Oh, why do they keep saying take your time and don't do so fast? I can do it so fine. No. Really, the scenario out there, your stretchers out there saying take your time and don't rush it. You're not in a race. You're not trying to get somewhere really fast. You have a long time to stretch your ear. You can take as long as you want. You can wait a year each stretch and you'll be fine. And just take your time. Don't force things in. Just take your time. Let it slide in on its own. And just get to the size you want. And if your ears stop, start looking thin, don't stretch anymore. I was planning to go higher, but my ears so thin, I'm not going to go higher anymore. Unless my ears thicken up some magical way. But yeah, that's that's my stretching experience. I'm, I'm happy to have shared this experience with you guys. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, please comment below or send me a message. Just go to my I think it's over here, or over here profile, and send me a message. My questions you have, I'll give you some. If you want to know some good places to get uh, stretchers, just message me. If you want to know some tips, message me. Just hit me up. Have a nice day, and thanks for listening.